Assalamun alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu my dear brother brothers and sisters those who are watching me live all the praises to be Allah azza wa jal and aur karodo durud aur salam ho aqaid aur jahan muhammad mustafa sallallahu alaihi wa sallam par aaj main aap logon ko batane ja raha hu قرآن الکریم کے پیچھے جو لوگ پڑے ہوئے ہیں اسلام دین کے پیچھے لوگ پڑے ہوئے ہیں بڑی محنت مشقتیں کر رہے ہیں اس کو بہتان لگانے کی اور ہے تو قرآن الکریم میں یہ اپنا وسیم وسیم رضوی جو ہے ماشاء اللہ سے نام رکھا ہوا ہے وسیم رضوی اور قوم شیاطینوں سے بھی زیادہ بڑھ کر ہے وہ کچھ چھبیس آیتیں ہیں تو ایریڈیکیٹ منسوخ کروانا چاہتا ہے آہ ہاں 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 میں آپ کو ایک منظر بتاؤں چھوٹا سا ہے میرے ساتھ میں ہی رہی ہے یہ دیکھو کیا ہو رہا ہے یہ چھوٹے چھوٹے معصوم بچے ہیں ماشاء اللہ سے Well, 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 my dear brothers and sisters, let me tell you what exactly Allah Azza wa Jalla has placed the safe, safest place in the heart of the people. And this Quran al Karim has been transacted, had been uh, uh, placed in the heart of the people, uh, revealed. It was revealed also on the heart of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him. Those people, those who are the enemies, those who want to spread the blasphemy against the Quran al Karim and the Prophet Muhammad, they tried their level best till doomsday, till Yawm al Qayyamah. Nobody can remove the dot. You know dot? What does it mean by let's say full stop or comma? Try to change this in the grammar. No one can do because the grammar of Arabic language is from Allah Azza wa Jal taught to us by Quran al Karim. No one scholar can proclaim that he is a master or a professor of a grammar of Arabic. This is wrong, that is right, this is wrong, that is right. No, 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 no. With example I'm going to give you, a very small example, you will surprise what kind of a grammar is in Quran al Karim. Uh, I'll give you the example of one small ball pen. Okay. Let's say this is a ball pen. In Arabic language we call it a Quran. Kalama. The base of the Quran al Karim, base, base, is only three letter. We call it a root word. 6,236 verses of Quran al Karim are having root letters. They are only three. And then the grammar plays, plays its role. Let me tell you what is this in Arabic language. We call it a kalam. <clears throat> or, or let's say specs. Okay. I'm wearing specs. Spectacles. They call it a nazara. Nazarat al-shamsiya. Nazarat al-qaraat al This is my my ball pen, if you want to speak in Arabic, got to do nothing except placing Dhamma uh, Fatha Kasara. In uh, our language, we call it uh, uh, Zabar, Zer, or Pesh. 
If you place this zabar zero or pesh, the meaning will change, keep on changing. Then you keep on adding bamair. Bamair, it's a personal pronoun. The personal pronoun when you add in this kalama or any letter uh, or any word which has only three letter root words are three. Arabic language grammar will keep on changing and the meaning will keep on changing as and where where it is required. So let's say this is kalam means ball pen or a pen. Pen. If I want to say that this is my pen. You don't have to do anything. Place kasara means zer underneath the last word of a pen. That is kalam, ma, mim means kalami, my pen. <laughs> you see, it's so simple. You don't have to uh, utter too much of speaking too much. And no, 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 no. It's simply placing one kasara. It's like a shorthand writing, you know, before the people used to write shorthand. Kalami, if I want to say your pen, we say kalamak for male, singular. If, you want, if I want to say this is the ball pen belongs to our sister, uh, who is the second person, we'll say kalamaki, means your ball pen. Kalamana, our ball pen. Kalamak. Kuma, you two, the you two ball pen, you two, you, you, you two people's ball pen. Alamakum, you all people's ball pen, pen, uh, which is a male plural. If it is a female plural, in second person, we say alamakunna, you all ball pens. Our sisters, females, plural, single, uh, female plural. If you want to say our ball pen, we say alamana by simply adding noon zabar or noon alif. Alamana, our ball pen. If I want to say about third person, they call it a ghayab. First person, second person, third person. See how grammar are changing. Subhanallah. Uh, third person. Hu, ha, huma, hum, hunna. Alamahu, his ball pen. Who is a third person? Ma fis samawati wal ard. Whatever is in the heaven and or in the earth belongs to whom? Who? Who is who? Allahu. Belongs to Allah. Alamahu. Third person, male singular. Kalamaha, third person, female singular. Kalamahuma, dual person. Tasniya, we call in Arabic language or Urdu also. They are two, ball, two persons ball pen. Kalamahum, those male plural. Kalamahunna, those female plurals ball pen. So it's so simple grammar. My dear brothers and sisters of Islam, teach your children. Teach your children Arabic language because we are Ajam, we are not Arab. So Arabic is not our language. But the Quran al Karim is in Arabic language. So teach your children. Just now I show you the, the, the photograph in which the children are reciting the Quran al Karim. It is in their heart. No one can remove it. Because Allah has placed it. Till doomsday, this Quran al Karim will keep on transferring heart by heart. If anyone try to remove or eradicate, it's from the paper, not from the mind and heart of Muslims. Our children, they have memorized the Quran. Uh, other people's other caste, let's say caste and creeds people, their children, they memorize something, so the whole world knows that, oh, very intellectual person, but nobody bother to see or highlight that a Muslim children, five years, six year old, seven year old, they memorize whole 6,236 verses of Quran by heart, 
with grammar and the arabs of course they know the meaning also for ajam we have to learn through the dictionary we call it a qamus in arabic language so today's message is this my dear brothers and sisters that train your children of course along with the worldly education of course give them the worldly education so they should not be behind let's say in competition of the world and world here after but the successful are only those those who are not doc those who are doctor and know nothing about quran ul karim and islam they are not successful whether they born in a muslim family no way no guarantee for them those who are doctor engineer professor what so way well maybe they even prime minister or a king is unsuccessful world here after he is only successful in the 60 years 70 years of the life what he can eat gold and silver and what after what here after that is the real life eternal abadan abada will not end it for that success you teach your children quran ul karim in arabic language with translation let them follow it let them make a real good children real good cream they are cream if you teach them dancing in boogie boogie number boogie boogie they will bring one number fat number one in dance and then what <laughs> then what you are the one responsible or you parents then you are the one have to face it because you spoil your kids you given him a wrong track so better first stage teach them quran ul karim arabic language uh, uh, let them know what is allah azza wa jalla and where is allah azza wa jalla and who is prophet muhammad peace and blessing be upon him i ask you simple question ain allah you don't have answer 99.99 person you fail huh. you know what let me give you example i'm little uh, frustrated let's say frustrated why because i see muslims in a very horrible conditions they are not the, those kind of a muslim which which we are reading in the ahadith uh, of rasul and the hikayat of rasul wa qasas al ashab al rasul ridwan allah taala ajmain now make your children qualitative understand by teaching them arabic language just now i saw, I saw you you have seen this picture where the children are reciting quran ul karim small small young kids oh, oh, oh my god mashallah so let me tell you where is allah if someone ask you our non mora brother non muslim brother and or non muslim sisters ask you where is allah and then you people have no answer because i ask thousands of people and they don't they didn't have answer you know why because we never teach we never try to know where is allah who is allah we never introduce our kids only worldly education and worldly education give worldly education but first put the need of in your children where is allah one girl was brought to prophet muhammad peace and blessing be upon him and probably it's the case of madina al munawwara masjid al nabawi when the girl was brought the owner the, the the master of the girl he slapped the girl young girl 6 7 years old she was crying ibki ibki means cry so the ashab ar rasul told that such and such thing happened the master hit the the slave girl so prophet muhammad peace and blessing be upon him said let's bring her here and bring the master also the master of a master the king of the king the scientist of the scientist the alim of the alim without professor without teacher without any master Uh, no one taught prophet muhammad peace and blessing be prophet uh, jibril amin he brought the uh, uh, wahi and jibril amin used to recite uh, used to memorize prophet muhammad peace and blessing be upon him every year complete quran ul karim and last year before the departure from this perishable world prophet muhammad peace and blessing be upon him and jibril amin they 
completed the Quran al Karim twice, two times. Okay. Allah sent the Wahi revelation. Jibril Amin brought the revelation. Prophet Muhammad on the on the heart of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him. But no one taught Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So he is the born master, born scientist, born doctor, born engineer, born everything. Those in this world and world hereafter, he has told us every concealed, single concealed thing by the authority of Allah azza wa jalla. Now he ordered. Bring that master. Uh, the girl is here already in the mosque of Masjid Al Nabi. Bring the master. Why did you hit him? Why did you hit her? And he has no reason because it was only the time where he was angry, and then he hit. So said, "Okay, let's have a taste, exam, pariksha, imtihan of this girl, whether she is momina or not. You know what does it momin and momina? It's a very very far this matter." We are only Muslim. To be Mu'min and Mu'mina, you read Quran Al Karim, Surah Al Mu'minun. Number of Surah is twenty third. You read with translation only ten ten ayah, you will become Mu'min. Hmm. But practical should be done. Now what happened is, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked the girl, five to six year old. He said, "Ain Allah." Aina in Arabic language means where, kaha, or nowadays they call fain, fain, fain Allah, aina Allah. Where is Allah? Simple question to test the Muslim and Mu'min whether their answer is right or wrong. You will know with simple question, aina Allah. Only two word, <laughs> only two word. Aina means where? Allah means Allah. Where is Allah? Now I ask you all people, where is Allah? And your answers are ninety percent wrong, because we never bother. There are seven to eight ayahs. There are seven to eight ayahs in Quran Al Karim. In Allah, where is Allah? You have to answer it. You have to read the Quran Al Karim with translation. Allah, where is Allah? Where is Allah? She said, she she gave a sign like this. Uh, Allah, who was Allah, He is fi fi sama. She said, Allah He is in the heaven and not on the earth. Allah is fi sama. This is the answer. So Prophet Muhammad said, Okay, fine. Who am I? Because it was face to face. So he asked. Man ana? Okay, this is the Arabic language. Man means anyone. Who? Who? Ana means I. Ana means I. Anta means you. Anti means you. Huwa means he. Huma means who? They two. Hum means all those. Hunna means all those. Female. Nahnu means we. Antum. Antuma. Antunna. Antuma means you two. Antuma, antum means you all. Antuna means you all, male and female, like this. So it's a grammar. No one can dare to change the grammar of Allah Azza wa Jal given us. Even though we are Ajam, we are not Arab. So if you you can't can't cheat the Ajam, how can you cheat the Arabs? Nasib. Wasim Rizvi and all that. Uh, there is also one more Malaun <laughs> Tariq Fatah. He was kicked out from all over the world and from world year after also he will be kicked into the hell because he is drinking wine, singing a Indian Rajasthani song <laughs> in the open, uh, making these videos and uh, viraling all over the world and telling that this is good, this is bad, and he himself he doesn't know Islam and Deen. Uh, there was a wife who he didn't drink uh, uh, wine. He openly amongst his friends, these are our scandal. These people they die hard. They can't change. Just now you see beautiful scene of kids, right? How they are reciting the Quran al Karim, and the ulama al Karam. Till doomsday there will be a, there, there shall be ulama al Karam. There will be ulama al Karam. 
they will not let you even change single dot even vocally <coughs> if you say ha ha habal habal the meaning will change habalillah the rope of allah habal hada huwa rajalun habal 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 means ha and habal means ha so meaning is different habal means uh, majnun mad person and habal means rope of allah rope rope of rope of allah habalillah wa tasimu bi habalillah jami'an wa la tafarraqu oh my god see there is a beautiful message in this ayah o oh, you mu'minun o oh, you people of the faith be get get together and hold the rope of allah that is quranul karim and uh, ahadith of rasul alayhi salatu wassalam anybody change the meaning will go to the hell if you sell the ayah of quranul karim in thaman and kalilan <laughs> it's only for the worldly life but what year after you people are going to be have a serious torment of the hell which abis al masir hadhihi jahannam wa abis al masir it's a very bad abode we can't survive mere bhaiyo buzurg aur dosto abhi aapne dekha mashallah se hain bachche kis tarah se quran ul karim pad rahe hain hain ye uh, uh, dil se dil se dil heart uh, heart by heart heart to heart ye dilon se quran ul karim chalte aaya hai qiyamah tak chalte rahega wahi se wasim rizvi jaise hazaron lakhon karodon malaun aa jaye hain ye tarikh fatah jaise hazaron karodon malaun aa jaye वो मोहम्मद शेख नाम का एक हमारे पड़ोस के मुल्क में कनाडा में जाकर बैठा हुआ है वो भी वो तो कादियानी और दूसरे परवेजी और इन लोगों के फिरकों में से है और वो भी कुरान कुरान करीम की आयतों को ट्विस्ट करता है हालांकि ग्रामर नहीं आता है कम वक्त को ये ऐसे मलून आ जाए हैं पुष्प इंद्र जैसे पुष्प इंद्र कुल श्रेष्ठा जैसे करोड़ों आ जाए हाँ वो कोई चेंज नहीं कर सका ये, ये कोई भी आ जाए अपना बात करने के लिए कोई कुछ चेंज नहीं कर सकता है इसकी इसकी हिफाजत अल्लाह अजल करे कुरान करीम की हिफाजत अल्लाह अजल के जिम्मे है मगर हम लोगों को क्या करना चाहिए अरे सीखना चाहिए डिपेंड नहीं होना चाहिए उन लोगों के ऊपर सिर्फ ओलमा कलामों के ऊपर है वो बेचारा हमारा आलिम जो आता है कुरान करीम पढ़ाने के लिए हमारे बच्चों को घर के अंदर उसको तो हम दो सौ दो सौ रुपये देते हैं और जब वो अंग्रेज आता है अंग्रेजी पढ़ाने के लिए टीचर आता है जिसको ना गुसल मालूम है ना तहारत मालूम है ना उदू मालूम है वो हमें से भी नहीं है उसको हजार बारह सौ देते हैं शर्म से डूब मरना चाहिए मुसलमानों आपको इतना जुल्म इतनी ना इंसाफी करते हैं आप लोग इतना जुल्म इतनी ना इंसाफी करते हैं आप लोग अंग्रेजी के टीचर को बारह सौ और हमारा जो आलिम है जो कुरान करीम लेके सीने में घूम रहा है फतावे लेके घूम रहा है फिका लेके घूम रहा है आपकी रहबरी कर रहा है आपके मुर्दों की जनाजों की नमाजें पढ़ा रहा है इमामत करा रहा है उसको दो सौ रुपये देते हैं शर्म से डूब मरना चाहिए मुसलमानों हाँ बहुत गुस्सा आ गया मुझे इस बात पर क्योंकि मैंने अपने आंखों से देखा है फिर बाद में भाग कर उनके पास में जाते हैं हमारे घर में ऐसा हो गया हमारे घर में वैसा हो गया ऐसा कर दो वैसा कर दो हमको रहबरी करो अरे तुमको खुद सीखना चाहिए ये कलम सिखाएगी तुमको देखो ये कलमी यानी मेरी कलम कलमी कलमी यानी मेरी कलम कलमक यानी तेरी कलम कलमकी यानी तेरी कलम कलम कुमा यानी तुम दोनों की कलम कलम कुम तुम सब मर्दों की कलम कलम कुन्ना तुम सब औरतों की कलम कलम न हम सब की कलम कलम हु कलम हु वो एक मर्द की कलम कलम है वो एक औरत की कलम कलम हुमा वो दोनों की कलम चाहे मर्द हो औरत हो मुशक्कल हो वो वो दोनों की कलम कलम हम वो सब मर्दों की कलम कलम हुन्ना वो सब औरतों की कलम इतना सिंपल ग्रामर है पांच मिनट भी नहीं लगी आपको दो मिनट पता लगा पांच मिनट उसको मस्क करें आपको कुरान करीम समझ में आने लगेगा कहां कहां चेंजेस होते हैं रबना है नहनू से आया नहनू यानी हम सब की कलम कलम ना यानी हम सबकी कलम नहनू से नून नून आरिफ आया रब यानी रब यानी अल्लाह अजल रबना यानी हमारा रब हम सबका रब चाहे हिंदू भाई हो मुस्लिम भाई हो क्रिश्चियन भाई हो सिख भाई हो जैन भाई हो बुद्धिस्ट भाई हो जरूर जमीन पे जितने भी इंसान है सबका रब उसने कोई लेबल नहीं लगाया ये क्रिश्चियन का रब अलग है मुस्लिम का रब अलग है 
हिंदू भाइयों का रब अलग है नहीं 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 सबका रब रबना ए हमारे रब आत आत याने देना आती ना हम सबको दो फी अंदर दुनिया दुनिया के अंदर हसनात हसनत हूं हसनात व और व और फी अंदर आखिरा आखिरत में हियर आफ्टर वर्ल्ड हियर आफ्टर आखिरा हसनत हूं हसनात खैर बरकत व और कीना वकीना और हम सबको बचाओ किस चीज से अजाब कौन सा अजाब नार कौन सी नार जहन्नम की रबना आतीना फिर दुनिया हसनता हूं व फिर आखिरती हसनता हूं वकीना अजाब नार ये देखो सो सिंपल एक कलम से मैंने आपको अरबिक लैंग्वेज का ग्रामर बताया पूरे कुरान करीम में इस तरह से चेंजेस आएंगे मेरे भाइयों बुजुर्गों और दोस्तों मोहम्मद याकूब रहे या नहीं रहे कल इस जमीन पे रुए जमीन पे पैंसठ साल की एज हो गई ये देखो सो ऑल ऑल एवरीथिंग इज वाइट ये कलम रह जाएगी ये बयान रह जाएगा इनशाला ये बयान को पहुंचाओ लोगों तक और शौर में आए जागो 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 इसके पहले के बहुत देर हो जाए वेकअप कॉल फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू बिफोर इट टू लेट लर्न अरबिक टीच अरबिक टू योर चिल्ड्रन ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द कुरान उल करीम आप और उसको अमल करें है एक्ट प्रैक्टिकली अपॉन इट है सिर्फ बातों से काम नहीं चलेगा तो इनशाला करेंगे मेरे भाई और बुजुर्ग और दोस्तों मेरी बहनों है जो भी मुझे सुन रहे हैं फारदेस्ट पूरे दुनिया से लाइव बरए मेहरबानी जो मेरा ये बयान है इसको आगे पहुंचाए लोगों तक ये आपको जगाने के लिए है वेकअप कॉल है ये है इनशाला इसके साथ में मुख्तसर सी दुआ हो जाए और दुरुद का एहतमाम हो जाए आज दस मुहर्रम है सुबह अल्लाह आज के दिन मूसा सलाम को नजात दी थी फिर मूसा सलाम को और उनकी नेशन को उनकी उम्मत को अल्लाह अजल ने नजात दी थी फिर के चंगुल से और उसके लश्कर से रेड सी के दो पार्ट किए थे मैं वो रेड सी में पचास मीटर नीचे जाके आया हूं अंदर समंदर के हैं आई एम डाइवर फ्रॉम इंग्लैंड यूके अब ये मैं बोल रहा हूं ये देखो वो आयत कौन सी थी ट्रूप्स parted the red sea into two let's say parted the sea and uh, gave najah saved you and drowned the firon and its lashkar that is a today's date 10th of muharram and uh, al rasul husain alai salam husain radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu unki aaj ye shahadat bhi hui isi yawm mein do roze rakhe नौ के दस के और अगर किसी का नौ का रोजा मिस हो जाए तो नौ दस और ग्यारह मुहर्रम का रोजा रख ले अल्लाह को बोल फरमाएगा इन الحمدللہ وصلى الله تعالى على خير خلق محمد وعلى آل أصحاب أجمعين برحمةك يا أرحم الراحمين سبحانك رب رب عزة عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما باركت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد मैं आपको चलते चलते बता दूं कि एक कलम जो है वो वो लौह महफूज से पहले बनाई गई अल्लाह अज्जल जल के जरिए और ये कलम से अल्लाह अज्जल आई मीन कलम से अल्लाह अज्जल ने इंसान को इल्म عطا فرمایا ها 
ہاں و علم بالقلم اور آپ لوگوں کو قلم کے ذریعے اللہ نے علم فرمایا یہ قلم کو نہ بھولنا اتفاق سے ابھی مجھے آیت یاد آ گئی ماشاء اللہ سے اللہ کے فضل کرم رحم سے امر سے ایک قلم کے اوپر آج میں نے آپ کو عربی لوگا کا گرامر سکھایا وہ گرامر جو اللہ عزوجل نے بنایا اور اس سے انسان سیکھتا ہے بولتا ہے میں بہت بڑا پروفیسر ہوں یہ چینج کروں گا وہ چینج کروں گا کوئی کچھ چینج نہیں کر سکتا وسلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ بھائی محمد یعقوب حاشم بیلیب کو بھی دعا خیر میں ضرور سے یاد رکھیں کل ہم ہوں گے نہیں ہوں گے ہمارے میری یہ جو خطبہ اور یہ باتیں انشاءاللہ قیامت تک اللہ پہنچائے گا آپ لوگوں کے بھی ذمہ ہیں تو ضرور سے بھائی محمد یعقوب حاشم بیلیم کو دعا خیر میں ضرور سے یاد رکھیں سلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہو